Demo 5.7 Process Shipment for Sales Order In this demo, we will process the shipment for a previously created sales order. Use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the transaction to create an outbound delivery. Alternatively, enter the transaction code VL01N in the command field to directly access the transaction. In this demo, we will use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the desired transaction. First, expand the Logistics menu by clicking on the arrow next to the menu label. In the Logistics menu, expand the Sales and Distribution menu. In the Sales and Distribution menu, expand the Shipping and Transportation menu. In the Shipping and Transportation menu, expand the Outbound Delivery menu. In the Outbound Delivery menu, expand the Create menu. In the Create menu, expand the Single Document menu. In the Single Document menu, select Transaction VL01N with reference to Sales Order. This is the initial screen for creating an outbound delivery. First, we must select a shipping point and delivering plant. Click on the search icon to the right of the shipping point field to display a list of plants. Select MI00 Miami from the list and click the enter icon. Next, we will select a date. Click on the search icon to the right of the selection date field to display a calendar. Select a suitable date and click the Enter icon. In this demo, we will select August 12, 2010. Next, we must input a sales order number. To search for a sales order by customer, click on the search icon next to the order field. Then click on the list icon to the right of the Sold to Party field. Type star 000 into the customer field to narrow the search. Finally, click the Enter icon to execute the search. Select Philly Bikes from the customer list and click the Enter icon. The system transfers the customer number to the Sold to Party field. To display the list of pending shipments for the customer, click the Enter icon. The system displays the open sales orders or the selected customer. Select an order and click the Enter icon. In this demo, we will select order number 17. The basic data are now complete. Click the Enter icon to create the delivery. The system displays the Outbound Delivery Create Overview screen. This screen includes a header and an item section. The data for the items are grouped into several tabs, Item Overview, Picking, Loading, Transport, Status Overview, and Goods Movement Data. The Picking tab is selected. It is used to provide picking data to the system after the materials needed to fill the order have been picked. To view the Item Overview, click on the Item Overview tab. The Item Overview tab shows basic information about the items in the shipment. To view loading data, click on the Loading tab. The Loading tab displays data related to the loading of the delivery. To view data related to the transportation of the delivery, click on the Transportation tab. The Transportation tab contains data related to the transportation and the route for the delivery. To view the status of the delivery, click on the Status Overview tab. The Status Overview tab displays data related to the status of the delivery. To view data related to the goods movement of the delivery, click on the Goods Movement Data tab. The Goods Movement Data tab displays data related to the goods movements associated with the delivery. Return to the Picking tab. We must now indicate the storage location of the materials that need to be picked. Click on the search icon to the right of the S-Lock field. 
The only valid storage location for this material is FG00, Finished Goods. Select FG00, Finished Goods, and click the Enter icon. Next, enter the quantity of materials that have been picked from inventory in the Picked Quantity field. In this demo, we will enter 40 to indicate that the full delivery quantity of 40 materials has been picked. We must now enter the storage location for the second material in the delivery. As before, click on the search icon to the right of the S-Lock field. There are two storage locations available for this material. Select TG00, Trading Goods, and click the Enter icon. Next, enter the appropriate quantity in the Picked Quantity field. In this demo, we will enter 100 to indicate that the full delivery quantity has been picked. The data for the outbound delivery are now complete. Click the Save icon to create the delivery document. The system saves the data for the delivery, and it displays the delivery document number in the information area at the bottom of the screen. Note that the system returns to the Create Outbound Delivery with Order Reference screen. Click the Exit icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will review the document flow as we did in the previous demos. Select Transaction VA23, Display Quotation. Enter the quotation number or search for one and click on the Environment menu. Select Display Document Flow. The system now displays the document flow for the original quotation. Note that two additional items have been added since we reviewed the document flow after creating the sales order, outbound delivery and picking request. Further, the document flow indicates a completed status for sales order Standard order. This is because the entire delivery quantity has been picked. The status of the outbound delivery is being processed and the status of the picking request is completed. Highlight the outbound delivery document and click on the magnifying glass to view key data from the document. The system displays the key data for the highlighted outbound delivery. With the delivery document highlighted, click on the display document icon to view the delivery document. The document displays the delivery document with the Picking tab selected. After reviewing the data in the document, click the back icon to return to the document flow. The system displays the document flow screen. Click the back icon twice to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. The final tasks in shipping are to send the shipment to the customer and to post the goods issue in the system. The goods issue indicates that the shipment has left the facility. We will now create the post goods issue. Begin by expanding the logistics menu. In the logistics menu, expand the sales and distribution menu. In the sales and distribution menu, expand the shipping and transportation menu. In the Shipping and Transportation menu, expand the Outbound Delivery menu. In the Outbound Delivery menu, expand the Change menu. In the Change menu, select Transaction VL02N, Single Document. Enter or search for the delivery document for the shipment and click the Post Goods Issue icon. The system updates the data associated with the goods issue, and it indicates that the delivery document has been saved. We will now review the document flow, as in the previous demos. Select Transaction VA23, Display. Next, select the Environment menu. Now select the Display Document Flow option. The system displays the document flow. Note that the goods issue has been added to the document flow. However, the status of the outbound delivery is still being processed. 
To view the Goods Issue Document Overview, highlight the document and click the magnifying glass icon. The system displays key data for the selected document. In this case, it displays key data for the Goods Issue. To view the entire document, click the Display Document icon. The system now displays the material document associated with the goods issue. The document includes a header and an item section. Note that only key data from the header are displayed. To view more data from the header, click on the header icon. The system now displays the header data. Click the overview icon to return to the previous screen. To view the accounting documents created as a result of the delivery, click on the Accounting Documents icon. The system displays the accounting FI document. It includes a header and an item section. The item section displays the financial accounting impact of the goods issue. Demo 5.7 Process Shipment for Sales Order